Jay-Z and listen, check it out now. Holy! Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, NBA Youngboy's house has been raided. Now, not the Utah home. He's actually got a bunch of homes, but a home that he owns in Houston that his mama currently lives in. Now, the SWAT team kicked the door down, ran up in there, and they arrested three individuals. And I know what you might be thinking. Damn, they are trying to get this guy, Youngboy, down and out. Well, according to the cops, they're saying that this had nothing to do with Youngboy. They're saying even though it was his house, and even though his mom lives at the house, they actually raided the house because of some of the individuals who were staying at the house, okay? Now, they locked up three people, okay? Carly and Galleon, Romello Williams, and Daryl Brown, and they're saying the reason why they executed the arrest warrant and search warrant for those guys on a house is because those guys are wanted in relation to a 2021 November shooting, according to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, okay? So basically, they say that these dudes shot somebody, and the person survived, okay? The person probably point them out, right? And apparently, the person's facing permanent but life-threatening injuries, and they somehow ID the guys, came to lock them up. They're at Young Boy's crib. They execute the search warrant. The SWAT team does that. They find guns. They find the guys. And here's where it gets a little dicey, okay? Because number one, you're going to hope and expect, and this is where Young Boy could be tied in, if any of these handguns have been pictured or seen with young boy, it could be additional charges, okay? We already saw how he got charged from his cameraman having a SD card that depicted him holding a gun and then them finding said gun, which means the cameraman couldn't go back and say, oh, no, that was a fake gun because they got the gun, right? So that could happen, right? We don't know when's the last time young boy's been to the crib, but they're making sure they note it's young boy's crib, right? Also, when you think about the fact that a uh, young boy who is now on house arrest and who's also a longtime felon, you know a lot of judges, especially when they sentence you, and a lot of times when you get on get out on probation or parole, they tell you you can't be around other people who are felons as well. So when young boy goes to make a bail application next time, whether it's for this case or another case or whatever it is, and he says, hey, let me go back to my home in Houston, I'm pretty sure the prosecutor's going to bring up the fact that, well, why the hell would we let you do that when we just heard that they arrested a bunch of people who did a shooting at one of those homes? You're going to be kicking around the people. We don't want you to kick it around, okay? Maybe that's one of the reasons why he was released to Utah. Think about it. Because in Houston, right, where he has a couple of houses, people and the judge would say, hey, you're going to be hanging around the same crowd, which means even if we allow you to go home, you're still around the same people that we don't want you to be around. So we'll keep monitoring the situation. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Watch Academics. Boop.